Hello everyone and welcome to Scholarship Night at Guilford High School. I'm Julia Chaff, the principal at the high school, and I'm so delighted to be here to recognize the achievement of our seniors on this special night. Congratulations to each of our students for your outstanding accomplishments. And congratulations to the parents and families of these remarkable young people. Your love, guidance, support, and encouragement throughout the years is a big reason why your students are being recognized this evening. Also, I want to thank our teachers, administrators, and staff for their contributions and unwavering dedication to all of our students, but especially our seniors over the last four years. So let's begin, shall we? At this time, I would like to turn it over to our first scholarship presentation of the evening. Cindy Musilli Memorial Scholarship. A $1,000 scholarship will be awarded to a student graduating from Guilford High School who exhibits outstanding citizenship and dedication to community service. This year's recipient goes to Olivia St. Marie. The David M. Ciardello Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship will be awarded to the student graduating from Guilford High School, preferably one who has been a participant in its varsity baseball program and demonstrates qualities of teamwork and good sportsmanship. This year's recipient is Clayton Ulrich. Edward L. Peters Memorial Scholarship. A scholarship will be awarded to a senior pursuing studies in the field of either ecology, marine biology, language arts, or foreign language. Financial need will be taken into account before academic achievement. This year's recipient is Calder Scott. John B. Hubbard Family Scholarship. A scholarship will be awarded to a deserving male student who has been accepted into an engineering college or industrial school or equivalent institution. An acceptance letter to an engineering program or equivalent is required. This year's recipient is Ronan McDermott. The Eugene Fisher Scholarship. The Guilford Teachers Association offers a $1,000 scholarship to a Guilford High School senior. Preference will be given to those entering the field of education and those who have financial need. This year's recipient is Noelle Williams. The GHS Interact Club Scholarship. A $500 scholarship will be given to a graduating senior who has proven a sincere dedication, intrinsic motivation, and commitment to community service benefiting both the town of Guilford as well as international causes. Preference will be given to members of the GHS Interact Club. This year's recipient is Charlotte Sakaris. Guilford Teachers Memorial Scholarship. A $1,000 scholarship will be given by the Guilford Teachers Association to a Guilford High School senior going on to a post-secondary educational institution. Preference will be given to students pursuing a teaching career. This year's recipient is Maya Rumanoff. Brooks Shepherd Scholarship, given in memory of Brooks Shepherd to a student who plans to pursue music or music education, given to Rosalie Coleman, Eleanor Little Memorial Scholarship honors a Guilford resident who held a number of state and local offices and who had a lifelong interest in education. It is given to a student who finds a sense of direction and commitment the last two years of high school. Given to Julia Kinney. Literacy Arts Scholarship. Established by an anonymous donor, it is given to a student interested in literature and or writing. Given to Mary Beatty and Emily Browder.
Healthcare Scholarship. Established in 1989 by an anonymous donor, it is given to a student pursuing a career in medicine, dentistry, nursing, or medical technology. Given to Emma Copel. Three hundred and fiftieth anniversary scholarship established in 1989, honoring the three hundred and fiftieth anniversary of Guilford's founding. It is given to a student who plans to major in history or exhibits a strong sense of commitment to the community. This year's recipient is Lauren Cyrus. C. Saramo Scholarship honors a former Guilford resident whose father, William Moe, served as a minister of the First Congregational Church from 1925 to 1947. Sarah Moe has a wide range of interests and donated to libraries, community centers, animal rescue groups, and scholarship programs. This year's recipient is Julia Earle. Lori Acousti Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is a tribute to Lori Acousti, a longtime social worker at Guilford High School and within the Shoreline community. A fierce advocate for kids, Lori worked tirelessly to make sure that the needs of others came first. She was a champion of kids and never failed to see the good in all. Everyone she worked with or came in contact with has been empowered to continue her legacy of hope and compassion. Students who exhibit these qualities will be considered. This year's recipient is Sloan Chapman. Janet Ellen Fonte Memorial Scholarship. Janet and Fonte was a longtime educator at Guilford High School. Business teacher, dean, and director of school counseling are just a few of the hats Janet wore. She is best remembered for her sense of humor, her tenacious and steadfast commitment, and her student-centered philosophy. Students work, she worked with always felt they had an advocate in her. Students who exhibit these qualities will be considered. This year's recipient is Camillo Carmona. The John R. Cooper Memorial Fund Scholarship. This is an annual scholarship that will be awarded to a senior with a 3.5 GPA or better of the graduating class. The candidate must also have successfully completed a minimum of four years of French and be a member of orchestra, band, voices, or any other school-sponsored music ensemble. This year's recipient is Sabrina Doria. The Julia B. DiCapua Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship will be given to a student who is pursuing teaching as a vocation. This year's recipient is Faith Anderson. The Landorf Trust Fund Scholarship is two scholarships in the amount of $2,500 each will be awarded to students with a strong involvement in the Guilford community and who demonstrate financial need. This year's recipients are Sloan Chapman and Clayton Ulrich. The Susan P. Famasello Memorial Scholarship is awarded as a $1,500 scholarship offered to a GHS senior with financial need who has demonstrated a potential for and will be pursuing college programs in communication. This may include mass media, English, creative writing, and the recipient is also an active member of community service. This year's recipient is Lauren Skoglund. The Jonathan McMahon Charter Oak Firebirds Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship will be awarded to a student going into the automotive field by attending a trade school program for mechanics, body work, auto design, or a student who has been involved in the robotics club 
and plans to pursue a degree in this field. This student should have at least a B average. The recipient will also receive a two-year membership to the Charter Oak Firebirds Car Club. This year's recipient is Dylan Jones. This is the TAPS, the Theater Arts Parent Support Scholarship. $750 scholarships were awarded to students who have been a member of TAPS for at least one full school year, have participated in the GHS Theater Arts Program for at least one year as a cast or crew member, and who will be attending a post-secondary school. Interested students submitted an essay on how being a member of GHSTA has influenced their life, allowed them to grow, and how the theater arts will be a part of their life in the future. This year's recipients are Mary Beatty, Sabrina Doria, Madison Knoxkirk, Lillian Paterzo, and Cassidy Planis. This is the Guilford Rowing Inc. Scholarship. Scholarships were awarded to one male and one female student in the amount $250 each. Students needed to be graduating in June of 2021 and pursue a bachelor's degree in any field. Each student should exhibit skills and traits that exemplify leadership and teamwork, the qualities needed to become a successful rower. Participation on the GHS crew team for a minimum of one year was preferred. There was a short essay required on how you exemplify the qualities of a rower. This year's recipients are Mary Beatty and Kevin Lepro. Good evening. Steven Spielberg said the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image, but giving them the opportunity to create themselves. Hi everyone, my name is Peter Palumbo, and I'm here tonight to present the Guilford Youth Mentoring 2021 Scholarship Award from Palumbo's Automotive. This year's recipient, senior at Guilford High School, talks about in his essay to receive this scholarship, his relationship with his mentor and how important it has been to him over the last five years and how much his mentor has been with him over the last five years through big decisions in his life, like what college to go to, which he is going off to college next year to study criminal justice, and also through the passing of his grandmother. This young man came back to Guilford, five years has spent with his mentor, and he just raves about their relationship and how he has been with him through some emotional ups and downs. I'd like to present this year's scholarship to Mr. Evan Chapman. This is the Lenny and Joe's Fishtail Carousel Scholarship. Two $1,000 scholarships were given to seniors who will be furthering their education in an accredited school of higher education, have worked at jobs during the summer or weekends, and demonstrate their desire and resourcefulness in helping to fund their education demonstrate a need for financial assistance and have been involved in the school community and other outside activities. This year's recipients were Lauren Scobland and Michael Malatesta. This is the Julie Ferraro Memorial Scholarship. This is a $500 scholarship that was awarded to a senior entering the medical allied health field, nursing in particular. An essay was submitted addressing the following. As your senior year comes to an end, what would a moment you remember be where you made a difference in someone else's life? This year's recipient is Rachel Amatruda. The American Legion Post 48 Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship that was awarded to a GHS senior that has a family member who is either on active duty in the military or a veteran. 
It was awarded for continuing education in a two or four year college or a technical program at an accredited technical school. Also eligible for students entering a military academy. Applicants were asked to submit an essay of approximately 500 words. The topic of the essay was why honoring a veteran is important. This year's recipient is Rebecca Hicks. Hi, I'm Richard Hirsch and this is my wife, Judith Myers. And we're here today to present the first two $1,000 scholarships from a fund we recently established at the Guilford Foundation. Our purpose in establishing this fund is to recognize and provide support for Guilford High School students who have demonstrated academic excellence, strength of character, and community service. As a former high school teacher, professor of education, and president of two liberal arts colleges, and now a member of the Guilford School Board of Education, um, I'm deeply uh, respectful of, the, of college education and keenly aware of the financial burdens that this um, imparts on families and students themselves. We hope that these scholarships will help lighten that financial aid burden. Hi, I'm Judith Myers. I am a clinical and community psychologist. Until recently, I served as president and CEO of the Child Health and Development Institute and the Children's Fund of Connecticut. Dick and I moved to Guilford five years ago, and we love living in this community. We've become active members of the community and, and very much enjoyed doing that. Dick, through his role on the Board of Education, and me as a board member of the Guilford Foundation, as well as United Way of Greater New Haven. We reviewed a substantial number of applications and transcripts. It was a difficult choice, but today we'd like to announce the two winners. The first winner is... Catherine Meter. And the second winner is Kira Stankowicz. Congratulations. Congratulations. Madison JC's Paul Acom Scholarship. A $1,000 scholarship will be given to seniors who have determined high levels of community service and scholastic achievement. The applicants shall submit a personal statement discussing their involvement in community activities, the choice of a particular course of study or direction, and their financial need for this scholarship. This year's award recipients are Julia Decker, Noel Williams, Emily Brodeur, Rachel Amatruda, and Milo Heidkamp. Pauline Corpora Memorial Scholarship. This $500 scholarship will be awarded to a GHS graduating senior who is pursuing a career in teaching or human services, participates in extracurricular activities or classes with special needs students, and demonstrates outstanding effort in partnering with peers who have special needs. The applicant must submit an essay describing their experiences with special needs students and their future goals. This year's award recipients are Emily Brodeur and Kira Stankovich. The Frederick A. DeLuca Scholarship. The Frederick A. DeLuca Foundation Scholarship is a renewable award and the total amount awarded over four years is $8,000. It's given to a student who has been accepted for admission to an accredited college, university, trade, or vocational school, demonstrates academic achievement, has a GPA of 3.0 or higher, participates in extracurricular activities, is employed while attending school, and demonstrates financial need. This year's award recipient is Camillo Carmona.
Ann C. and Ralph F. Solomini Memorial Scholarship. Two $500 scholarships will be awarded to students pursuing a teaching degree. Students applying should have a GPA of 3.0 or better, be an attentive listener, articulate speaker, well-read, and a clear, concise, concrete writer who is also willing and able to interact with people of difference. This year's award recipients are Sydney Schlagheck and Claire Bransfield. The Grizzly Award is given to a student who shows dedication to academic success and school spirit. The student must have overcome a challenge that had a significant impact on their school experience. This year's Grizzly Award recipient is Haley Jackson. Good evening, I'm Katherine Walker, here to present two scholarships of $1,000 each from the Guilford Garden Club to two Guilford High School students who have shown an interest in and enthusiasm for improving the environment, which is aligned with the goals of our Garden Club. Each student has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement, has volunteered for their school and community, and has engaged in actions to improve our environment. Our first recipient, for her capstone project, worked alongside the Sustainable Guilford Task Force, a group focused on how people in Guilford can economize and lessen their ecological footprint. She was designing a website that will be published on the Town of Guilford site, featuring local businesses and sustainable products sold. I congratulate Catherine Metter as our first recipient of a Guilford Garden Club Scholarship. Our second recipient is an active member of the Sierra Club and has earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Much of his volunteer time with the Scouts has been focused on improving and maintaining the area's natural resources, trails and parks. He also built a trellis used by the Garden Club during their annual holiday wreath sale. I congratulate Calder Scott as the second recipient of a Guilford Garden Club Scholarship. Our best wishes to both of these deserving students for their continued success in the future. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Coach Salvati with the Guilford football team. Tonight I have the pleasure of presenting this Guilford football touchdown club scholar athlete award uh, to an amazing player. He's been a senior football player this past year and unfortunately he did not have the opportunity to participate on the field um, as, as I know he wished he would. But um, over the past four years, this player has embodied everything that Guilford football has to offer, um, both on and off the field. He is a dedicated worker, um, a team player in every sense of the word. And uh, I know he's gonna go on to do great things in college. Um, he's recently elected to go to Nichols College in Massachusetts to participate on their football team. And um, I I'm so excited to go up there and watch him play for the next four years and follow his career. Um, this year, the Scholar Athlete Award for the Guilford Football Touchdown Club goes to Nico Tartagni. Nico, great job. We're very proud of you. I'm very proud to be your coach, and uh, I'm looking forward to watching you the next four years. Go Grizzlies and go Bisons. Good evening, my name is Marissa Schipani, and I'm presenting the Ralph Schipani Memorial Scholarship. Sports have always been an integral part of my father's life, especially baseball. It started when he was a young boy growing up in Brooklyn, New York. He would often be found playing stoop ball in the neighborhood. My father continued to play baseball throughout his childhood and college years. He often stated as a child what kept him out of trouble, what kept him motivated, and what made him successful was playing sports. Baseball remained an important part of his adult life when he and my mother moved to Guilford where they raised my brother and I. Yes, my father's passion was sports, but just as equal was his passion for community. He became involved in youth sports in Guilford as a leader, a coach, a mentor, and a volunteer. He loved the game and even more so he loved to coach it. He enjoyed being around different generations and he loved being a part of the community. My father believed there were many elements to playing a sport. 
He constantly reiterated sports had to do with a mental state. He believed the individual player needed to be a team player and that with hard work and dedication, no matter what the struggles or challenges faced, that individual would be successful. The two recipients of the Ralph Chapani Memorial Scholarship embody all the qualities my father felt made a good athlete. The first recipient is captain of the girls high school tennis team. Through a discipline of consistency and hard work, she has learned to value teamwork and sportsmanship. She put endless hours and effort into the sport to improve her skills. She takes pride in serving as a role model to her teammates, and she has been able to share her passion for sports through coaching and refereeing. I would like to present Kara Stankowicz with the Ralph Chapani Memorial Scholarship. The second recipient plays baseball for the boys' high school varsity team. Baseball has given him a strong work ethic and has taught him per her perseverance through difficult situations. He values the camaraderie of the sport and has learned to become a leader who understands the true meaning of teamwork. He states baseball is a mental sport, which has taught him patience. He is a student coach with Guilford Little League, and he will be attending Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the fall. I would like to present Julian Scarpa with the Ralph Chapani Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, class of 2021. On behalf of the staff and board of directors of Guilford Youth and Family Services, it is my pleasure to present scholarships to three members of the senior class. The GYFS scholarship was designed for students pursuing studies in an area of human services such as social work, psychology, counseling, or related youth-oriented field of study with the intended goal of working with children. It is our hope that those who receive these scholarships will be instrumental in one of those endeavors. Congratulations to Sarah Davidson on being awarded a $500 scholarship, to Sydney Schlagheck on being awarded a $250 scholarship, and to Kiera Stankowicz on being awarded a $250 scholarship. Congratulations and best wishes, Guilford High School Class of 2021. Hello, I'm Officer Anthony Martone with the Guilford Police Department. Today I'll be presenting the Guilford PBA Patrick Hatchell Memorial Scholarship, which is presented to a GHS senior looking to pursue an education or career in the criminal justice field. Before his unfortunate passing, Sergeant Patrick Hatchell served a number of roles with the Guilford Police Department. Coworkers who knew him best said not only was he an incredible person, but he went out of his way to help others, which is something anyone in the field should strive to do. This year's recipient is not only hardworking, well-rounded, and dedicated to whatever she does, uh, but she will be attending Fordham University in the fall. I'd like to congratulate Lauren Walsick. Hello. My name is Mark Donovan and I am the president of Guilford Little League. I'm very honored to be presenting the Kyle Martin Memorial Award today, as we have done for the last 15 years here at Guilford. Every year we honor Kyle's memory by bestowing this award to an outstanding student athlete. This year, the athlete is also a leader who has shown a great aptitude for success and who will leave a lasting legacy. He's also a student with a bright future on or off the baseball diamond. I have known this family for a long time, and I know they will be very happy to learn that this year's Kyle Martin Award goes to Julian Scarpa. Congratulations, Julian. Hi, my name is Carly McGrady, and I'm one of the vice presidents of softball for Guilford Little League. I'm very honored to be presenting the Kyle Martin Award today. This award has been given for the past 15 years to an outstanding student athlete. This year's recipient is no exception. She has had many academic successes. She is a captain of the softball team for Guilford High School, and she has volunteered for many years with the Guilford Little League softball program. She has inspired many young softball players to follow in her footsteps, and we are very happy to have her be part of Guilford Little League. This year's recipient of the Kyle Martin Award goes to Jillian Baddock. Congratulations, Jillian. 
As a building contractor, it was always my husband's goal to build well-built, well-designed homes that offered their owners the best in building technology and design. He worked closely with architects and designers to create aesthetically pleasing, comfortable homes that met the needs of his clients. Good design was always important to him. For that reason, I have chosen a candidate who wishes to pursue a career in architecture. I am confident that his passion for art and design will help him create function and beauty in our world. I happily present the George Mordecai Construction Trade Scholarship to Michael Earl. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Sarah Duggan and I'm excited to present the Kelly Duggan Memorial Scholarship in honor of my sister. My sister Kelly died at the age of 21 on January 3rd, 2010, losing her 10-month battle with Ewing sarcoma, a rare and highly aggressive form of bone cancer. Kelly was a graduate of Guilford High School where she played field hockey and was the editor of the yearbook. Kelly received both the yearbook and the award and the coach's award for field hockey, as well as the Rotary College Scholarship and the Ted DeLauro Scholarship. When Kelly died, she was a senior at Seattle College in Albany, New York. She was a social work major and a member of the women's rugby team. Kelly was an active parishioner and peer minister at St. George's Church and went on several mission trips to Haiti. She loved the water and spent several years as a lifeguard and swim instructor for Guilford Park and Recreation. The Kelly Duggan Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Kelly and her compassion, love for life, sense of humor, community service, and the commitment to the Guilford community. It was hoped that the recipient of this scholarship will live like Kelly, who saw a need for change and acted on that giving impulse. This year's recipients are Moira Kalahar and Claire Pringle. Congratulations to you both in the entire class of 2021. Our family is awarding the Maureen Sear Caruso Scholarship this year to a student who displays some of the traits that were exhibited by our daughter, Maureen. We are sharing some photos of Maureen as a child here in Guilford and as a high school, college, and nursing school graduate. They also show her as a daughter, sister, friend, nurse, wife, and mom. She touched many lives with her kindness, love, and empathy. Maureen was born with multiple heart anomalies after a number of surgeries, she lived her life with abundance. Her dream of having a family and becoming a nurse were accomplished. Her sudden death at the age of 33 left us devastated. Her legacy lives on through her daughters. This year, the Maureen Sear Caruso Scholarship, endowed by the Guilford Foundation, will be awarded by her daughters, Madeline and Ava. In honor of our mom, this year the scholarship will be awarded to Gracial Dumapik. Congratulations, Gracial. Hello, and congratulations to everyone who has received awards thus far. My name is Sam Reardon, and I will be presenting the Robert Palmer Memorial Scholarship. My grandfather, better known as Poppy, was an incredible athlete and an even better man. His dedication to the sports of soccer, basketball, and baseball, as well as his sportsmanship and leadership, led to his induction into the Guilford Athletic Hall of Fame and a semi-pro baseball career on the Orioles. He taught me no matter the situation, whether it is a preseason scrimmage or a state final, winning will never be as important as being a good sport. Although my poppy was a competitor, he was a teammate first. He was the first guy to lift his friend up after a fall and the last guy to take credit for a win. My grandfather's personality was infectious, and everyone who knew him wanted to be around him, on and off the field. After being diagnosed with ALS, my grandfather once again showed his true character. He never once cried about his terrible disease. Instead, he decided to celebrate the wonderful life he lived. Throughout his journey, he remained strong and still managed to make it to all of his grandchildren's sporting events. After reading all of the applications, it was clear that Guilford High School has several student athletes that are incredible both in the classroom and on their field of choice. There was one essay in particular, however, that stuck out. The recipient of the scholarship is a young man who really reminds my family of my grandfather. 
In his essay, he talks about the importance of working hard and staying humble, and how when a team works together, they are capable of doing something incredible. Evan is considered to be one of the most selfless teammates the Guilford basketball program has seen, always putting the needs of others before himself. Over the years, Evan has worked as a camp counselor, swim lesson instructor, coach, and even helped to organize food drives and support hunger awareness. All in all, Evan truly embodies a team player. He is a hard worker, humble, and someone who would make my grandfather proud. The Palmer family wishes Evan the best of luck at URI next year, where we are sure he will continue to do outstanding things. Congratulations, Evan Goryev, on a fantastic four years at Guilford High School. Best of luck to you in the future. Hi, I'm Trisha Michna, and I'm here on behalf of the Soccer Club of Guilford to award the two recipients of the Soccer Fest Scholarship for $1,000 each. Soccer Fest is a tournament held in town annually by the Soccer Club of Guilford, and it's been a staple in our community for over 40 years. In order to apply for our scholarship, the individuals had to participate in Soccer Fest at some point, whether as a referee, a player, or even as a volunteer, and they had to submit an essay about what soccer means to them. My reviewing committee had a very difficult time. It's clear that soccer means a lot to all of you. We were very impressed with your qualifications for your academics, your perseverance with your athletics, and your ability to give to the community while doing all these other things. So while we did have a difficult time, our two recipients of the scholarship this year are Taylor Gambardella and Moira Kelleher. We'd like to congratulate you ladies in person. I'm sorry we can't. We wish you the best as you move on to the next phase of your lives. We know you're going to be very successful at whatever you do. Thank you. The R. Snowden Andrews Scholarship is given in recognition of a man who generously gave financial assistance to GSA. It is awarded to the student with the highest academic ranking of those students applying for a scholarship. And the scholarship goes to Kira Stankowicz. The Alice C. Hubbard Scholarship honors a respected educator, longtime teacher, and principal in the Guilford school system. Its emphasis is on academic achievement. And this scholarship goes to Michael Earl. The Bishop's Family Scholarship is given in honor of the Bishop family and its long history of involvement in the life of the Guilford community. Traditionally, it was given to those entering the field of agriculture, but it has been expanded to include earth science and environmental studies. Community involvement is also a criteria for the scholarship. This scholarship goes to Catherine Meter. The Class of 1950 A.E. Cox Memorial Scholarship, given by the GHS Class of 1950 to honor Guilford educator A.E. Cox. This scholarship can be given to a future teacher or to a student involved in activities which better the community. This scholarship goes to Keelan Urban. The Guilford Art League Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student pursuing a career in the field of fine arts in a four-year institution. The selection is made based on the student's portfolio and potential in the art field. Judging will be done by the GHS Art Department. This year's recipient is Cassidy Jones. Hello, everyone. My name is Enrique Rivera, and I'm the Vice President of the Guilford Basketball League. For us at GBL, the focus has always been the kids and learning life lessons through basketball. That's why we ask all applicants to the GBL scholarship to demonstrate how GBL has impacted their life. Thank you to all of this year's applicants who did a great job at demonstrating how GBL has impacted their lives. We're inspired by your stories. Congratulations to this year's GBL scholarship recipients Maura Kelleher and Evan Goria. The Stick Club Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a senior field hockey player who displays good citizenship and who pursues her academic career. 
this year's recipient is Eve Young. The Gilbert Savings Bank offers two scholarships of $3,500 each, awarded to one male and one female student who are in the top of their class, demonstrate strong leadership qualities, and show genuine interest in their community. The applicants must be accepted at a four-year college with demonstrated financial need. This year's recipient are Dylan Wickham White and Emma Koval. The Nils G. Peterson Young Educator Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a graduating senior who's been accepted to a major in education at a four-year college or university. The recipient must demonstrate a commitment to the field of education and his or her community through volunteer work, employment, and extracurricular activities. Students wrote an essay describing who and what influenced their decision to pursue a career in education and what experiences contributed to their interest in this career path. This year's recipient is Kaylee Silver. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Our daughter Kyle passed away in March of 1998 when she was a junior at Guilford High School. She was vice president of her class, a member of Voices, and a member of Theater Arts. But what she will be remembered for is her love for life and how to have fun. She was the happiest when performing on a stage, any stage, but particularly the stage at Guilford High School. This memorial and scholarship was designed to honor and ensure we never forget Kyle and to offer a time and a place to reflect on just how precious life is. This year's recipient, we know, will continue to share Kyle's passion for music and acting on many stages to come. And whether she knows it or not, she will be sharing a glint of Kyle with everyone she comes in contact with. This year, the Kyle Elizabeth Smith, Smith Scholarship is being awarded to Mary Beattie. Congratulations, Mary. Congratulations, Mary. Hello, and welcome to the 2021 Guilford High School Scholarship Awards Ceremony. My name is Allison Jones Thompson, and I'm coming to you tonight from Munich, Germany. I can remember my GHS 1982 scholarship night, and I recall how excited and honored I was to receive a scholarship enabling me to attend college. These past two years have been unprecedented, and I hate to think of how the coronavirus has impacted our children's school experiences. Yet we will focus on our future, which depends on these graduating seniors, and I know they will help lead us to a brighter future. The Stuart and Katie Jones Scholarship is in memory of my father, Stuart, and my sister, Katie. And it's a way to honor their tireless commitment to Guilford and to our community. This year, my husband Ewan and I are thrilled to recognize the recipient of this year's scholarship. This individual is an impressive scholar, receiving numerous academic awards, and is a member of the National Honor Society and the National Spanish Honor Society. He is a talented musician playing the clarinet, tenor sax, and the bagpipes. He has given back to the school through his involvement and volunteerism, including the GHS band, the pit orchestra, the jazz band, and the sports band. He has also been involved with theater through production and stage management. This young man has also given back to the community in a way that would have made my father the past chief of the volunteer fire department who and my sister, who was the first female volunteer firefighter in Connecticut, very proud. He has diligently worked hard through many years of education and training to become qualified to serve in leadership positions as an EMT and as a Guilford Fire Department cadet. And in his free time, he has taken up flying and is an accomplished solo pilot and has recently become a certified safe boater. We are lucky to have this young man and his passion and leadership in our future. It is with great pride that we offer the Stuart and Katie Jones 2021 scholarship to Milo Heidkamp. Milo, we wish you much success with your studies at Eastern Kentucky University. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elmer Kessler, and I'm the treasurer of the Rotary Club of Guilford, Connecticut, and a director of Guilford's Rotary Memorial Education Fund. Since about 45 years, the Memorial Education Fund is giving scholarships to students who shine primarily in community service. Today, our scholarship still rewards former students with outstanding record in all kinds of community service, but also students with a bigger financial burden, but noteworthy academic results are being rewarded. This year, we have $36,000 to spend, and we are honored to give it most to the outstanding students of the Guilford High School and help them to achieve their academic life goals. Therefore, it is my privilege to announce the recipients of 2021's Memorial Education Fund scholarships in alphabetical order. Rachel Amatruda, Ivan Chapman, Lauren Cyrus, Tyke Egan, Anthony Ippolito, Cassidy Jones, Dylan Jones, Logan Jones, and Ronan McDermott. Thank you all. Good evening. I am honored to be presenting this year's scholarships for the Esther Byington Lindquist Trust and the Brigadier General Warren Lindquist Trust. General Lindquist was born in Guilford in 1913. His mother, Esther Byington Lindquist, was a school teacher in Guilford. She loved music and she taught piano. General Lindquist joined the Army in 1941, shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor because his desire to serve his country. Warren told me that had he not made a career in the military, he would have pursued his interest in the theatrical arts, which he loved. And as a result of both his mother's passion for music and his passion for theater, he established these two scholarships, one for a student who was pursuing study in music and a scholarship for a student pursuing study in the theater. Both of these scholarships are for four years. I'm happy to announce that the recipient of the Esther Byington Scholarship, which is for four years, is Tag Egan. And the recipient of the four-year Brigadier General Warren Lindquist Scholarship is Madison Nosker. Congratulations to you both. Good evening, members of the class of 2021 and families. My name is Mark Gom, and on behalf of the GHS Music Department, it is my great pleasure this evening to announce the recipients of the GHS Music Boosters Scholarships. These scholarships are awarded to students who have been members of the GHS Music Department for four years and who have demonstrated exceptional musicianship and citizenship. The award winners this year are Cassidy Planis, Madison Nosker, Olivia St. Marie, Sydney Slagek, Reese Puchowski, and Sabrina Doria. In addition this year, it is also my pleasure to announce two additional scholarships. The first of which is the GHS Band Scholarship, awarded to a student who has been a member of the GHS Band for four years and who has demonstrated exceptional citizenship. The award winner this year is Noelle Williams. Our final award is the James Caputo Choral Scholarship, James Caputo was an alum of Guilford High School and at the age of 21 won the Luciano Pavarotti International Voice Competition. Since that time, he has gone on to perform internationally and across the country in opera houses everywhere. This year, the James Caputo Choral Scholarship is awarded to Lillian Paterzo. Congratulations to all our award winners and congratulations to the class of 2021. 
Hi everyone, my name is Liza Jansen Petra and I'm the Executive Director of the Guilford Foundation. And I'm really pleased to be able to present some of our scholarship awards this year for the 2021 scholarship season. Maybe next year we'll be in person, but here we go. Uh, the first award is our Al and Jean Bishop Fund for Vocational and Industrial Arts. And just some history, Alan Jean Bishop's family history in Guilford dates back to 1639. Most know the cousins as fourth generation stewards of the family business, Bishop, Bishop's Orchards. Al, who passed away at 86 in 2017, and his cousin Jean, still with us walking every day with his big smile, spent their lives dedicated to the quality of life in Guilford. Both men had diverse talents and skills that go far beyond farming. They have been involved in almost every aspect of Guilford life, from helping to start the robotics, robotics apple pie team, to serving as volunteer firemen, to serving town and country, to serving as youth mentors. And their various contributions have made Guilford a better place to live, work, and play. The purpose of this fund is to honor Alan Jean's service to community and their interest in vocational and industrial arts. This year's award goes to Dylan Jones. The Carl A. Balistracy Jr. Humanitarian Award honors the life and work of Carl Balistracy, a man who positively touched numerous lives during his many years of public and private service to Guilford. Sadly, Carl passed away in 2019. Carl began his career in the U.S. Air Force before pursuing a teaching career and ultimately culminated his work in education as the principal at Baldwin and then Adams Middle School. After retiring from the school system, he entered public service and capped his public service career with three terms on the Guilford Board of Selectmen, two as first selectmen. This scholarship is awarded to one male and one female senior who plan to pursue post-secondary education in government, public policy, foreign service, social studies, and or special education. The 2021 awardees are Cassidy Planus and Camillo Carmona. The Elizabeth Adams Fund. Dr. Elizabeth Adams, who passed away in 1994, was a beloved living legend in 20th century Guilford history. She arrived here at age 45, trading in her lucrative Manhattan career for small town Guilford. For many years, she served Guilford in several official capacities, including health director, police and fire department physician, and medical examiner. Dr. Adams adopted Adams Middle School, which was ultimately named in her honor. For almost 25 years, she wrote personal notes, each marking period to every student who made the honor roll. This was in addition to her regular attendance at concerts, plays, and all sorts of athletic games. This scholarship is awarded to two students in the top 10% of their class who embody some of Dr. Adams' characteristics. The 20 21 Elizabeth Adams Fund Scholarship Awards go to Keelan Irvin and Camillo Carmona. Stephen A. Looney Scholarship Fund. In 1984, Stephen Looney was at the top of his game. He was a successful student athlete, had graduated college and begun a promising career, and he had met the woman of his dreams. Unfortunately, tragedy struck him down in his prime. Two weeks before his wedding, Stephen was killed in a drunk driving accident, which rocked the world of Guilford and of those who knew him as a young man on his way to a bright future. His parents, along with family friends, established this fund as a memorial to provide college scholarship awards for soccer players, a sport that Stephen loved. This scholarship is awarded to two students, college bound and from Guilford High School, who have exhibited leadership qualities. I didn't say that right, but I think you get the gist. The 2021 awardees are Aiden Buchanan and Julia Rubo. The Stuart D. Burt Fund. 
Stuart Burt showed an incredible commitment to Guilford youth. He believed in the importance of providing meaningful opportunities for young people to work and, and apprentice in local businesses. In 1972, after a successful career in sales and at an age when many retire, Stu was not done. He established the Stuart D. Burt Company, a company that manufactured and distributed a tool used to revive a dying fire called a blowpoke. From the start of his company, Stu actively involved high school students who learned firsthand what is required to run a small business. After his passing in 2003, his family established this fund to ensure that his legacy endured. This scholarship is awarded to a student seeking higher education in business, vocation or, technol or the technology, technical trades, excuse me. The 2020 awardee is Olivia Mead. The Richard W. Brooks Memorial Fund is named for Richard W. Brooks, who passed away in 2016. He was raised in Guilford and graduated Guilford High School in 1974. Although he disliked academic work, he enjoyed his high school shop classes. He was a very capable craftsman when it came to working with his hands and had great mechanical skills. His dislike of academic work is the reason why no essay is required for this award. Indeed, he never would have applied for this award if he had to write an essay. He was a master bicycle mechanic and a gifted stained glass artisan who also instructed others in this craft. His stained glass creations have become prized family keepsakes. Unfortunately, Richard did not receive all of the recognition that he deserved for being such a skilled craftsman. Recognizing the importance to support vocational technology student, his family decided to establish this fund in Richard's memory to both honor him and to encourage students to pursue a career in the vocational and industrial arts. The 2021 Richard W. Brooks Memorial Fund goes to Maya Mao. The Jake Penman Memorial Scholarship Fund was established in 2009 in memory of then Guilford High School student Jake Penman. Jake's family established this fund to support a graduating senior whose characteristics most closely resemble those of their dear son. The 2021 Jake Penman Memorial Scholarship Fund goes to Juliet Young. The Jaffe Scholarship Fund. This is a relatively new fund established by longtime Guilford residents, David and Amy Jaffe. This award is intended for a student who's the first of their family to pursue post-secondary education. This grant will be awarded each of the four years the student attends college, pursuant to maintaining good academic standing. The purpose of the grant is to help support the purchases of books, school supplies, technology, and or travel to and from school. The 2021 four-year scholarship award goes to Grace Dumapit. Hi, it's Riley Hickey. I'm going to be presenting the Dennis Hickey Scholarship to Alexandra Scalia. I am really sorry if I said your name wrong. I am not good at names. Anyway, the Dennis Hickey Scholarship is technically in honor of grandparents. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but I think it's for someone who is kind and caring, because that's how my grandfather acted towards me. For example, we would play Go Fish together when I was younger, and he would usually let me win. When times were hard, he would always make me laugh and was a really funny person. I don't want you to be exactly like my grandfather because that's a little creepy, but I do think people should strive to be the light in the room when things are too serious or sad. I hope this is something you keep in mind while pursuing your future studies. Congrats again, bye. Hi, my name is Riley Hickey. And first of all, I just wanna congratulate Zara Edwards on receiving the Stanley Barnes Memorial Scholarship and graduating high school. This is a new chapter of your life, and I hope the scholarship money makes it a little bit easier. I'm here to present the Stanley Scholarship Fund. Stanley was a proud principal and lead educator at Calvin Lee and Melissa Jones for many years. As you probably know, these schools have been producing successful and inquisitive students for a very long time. The scholarship is intended to be gifted to a student who shows pride in their academics and plans to pursue a career in education. Good luck with your future endeavors and studies. Bye. 
Hi, my name is Jen Alexander, a graduate of Guilford High School class of 1993. I have the honor of presenting a member of the GHS class of 2021 with the Elizabeth M. Schwanfelder Memorial Scholarship. I'm here on behalf of Lizzie's family and friends. We are so grateful to the Guilford Community Foundation for taking such good care of this fund, better known to us as Lizzie's Fund, and to have this opportunity to remember our friend by awarding this special scholarship for the 12th year in a row. First, a big congratulations to the class of 2021. Your last two years of high school have been unique to say the least, filled with unexpected challenges and opportunities, amazing highs and unprecedented lows. You made it through all of that to be here tonight and I can't wait to see how you take the lessons from this experience with you as you move into the next exciting new chapter of your lives. As you do, we hope that you'll also take with you some of what Lizzie gave to us. Lizzie was amazing. Her resume was packed with accomplishments. She was in the French and National Honor Societies. She was a peer ministry leader, principal clarinetist at GHS and the New Haven Symphony Orchestra, an athlete, a committed volunteer, and an excellent student. She was diagnosed with cancer in the middle of our senior year at GHS. While battling her illness, she graduated and planned to attend Middlebury College. Sadly, she passed away that fall. When we think of our friend and what mattered most about her, we remember her zest for life, her infectious giggle, her kindness, and her generosity. She made everyone near her smile and feel special. When we were in school, we didn't have Snapchat, texts, or email. We had to actually write notes and pass them in the halls or class or send them in the actual mail. Lizzie was the best at writing notes and cards. Person after person who knew her will tell you that they still have letters from her. These letters are filled with questions about our lives, well wishes, and jokes to make us smile. She was so busy with academics, activities, work, or her cancer treatments, but she found time to write them to so many of us. Those letters embody how she made the people around her feel seen, heard, and loved, even during her most difficult times. Her joy and generosity of spirit helped her build friendships and a community around her that has endured years after her death. Like this year's recipient, Lizzie studied French in high school and often got me in hot water in French class with that giggle of hers. She loved reading the Petite Prince in our class and she especially loved this one quote. In English it reads, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Lizzie understood this message deeply at your age. I think it's why she was able to connect with and impact those around her in such a profound way. And it's the reason she's had a lasting impact on our lives. As you move into this next, cha next chapter of your life, we urge you to remember that some of your greatest accomplishments will not fit neatly in a resume, but will lie in how well you are able to see and give and live with a full heart. In Lizzie's honor, we asked applicants to write about selflessness, helping others and overcoming adversity. This year's scholarship goes to a compassionate and kind young woman who has a long list of accomplishments and shares in Lizzie's love of music, in her outstanding academic achievements, and her deep commitment to give back to her community and serve others. I'm thrilled to present Sabrina Doria with this year's Elizabeth M. Schwanfelder Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Sabrina, and best wishes for a bright future. Congratulations to the recipients of the first annual Ethan Miller Song Scholarship. Mike and I are so proud of all the young men and women who applied. Every one of you has shown great strength in choosing kindness in such a tough year. These students have performed acts of kindness, kindness quietly. They did it because it was the right thing to do. All that Mike and I ask of you is that you pay it forward at some point in your lives. As Ethan's dad, I've been amazed at the kindness that our family has received from our entire community. Thank you. I also want to thank everybody at Guilford High who has supported us in our song strong mission to keep kids safe and make the world a better place. I'm excited about this award and the people receiving it because, well, it celebrates one of the most critical strengths a person can possess, kindness. Now kindness is not about being soft, warm, or fuzzy to me. Kindness is more about hard work and sacrifice. It's a form of teamwork. It's a way of helping others, maybe when you didn't have to. And it's harder to help a person in need than it is to go out and do something fun with your friends. But that's what our award winners have done. And sometimes to be kind, 
people really have to leave their comfort zone. I mean, that takes courage and that takes character. Now, no one is perfect and Ethan certainly wasn't, but I was glad that he participated in some kindness activities like the amazing Unified Sports Program, the wonderful Town Lacrosse Program, and the United Nations Program here at the school. Now, I work and train business and government leaders. That's kind of what I do. And uh, I can tell you one thing about them. Almost all of them, maybe 90% of them, are really kind. They're nice. When you meet them, they're not arrogant, they're not intolerant, they're not bullies, they don't boss people around. They build teams, they motivate people, they reach out to that person that feels a little out of it, you know, the person that maybe they could just kind of walk away and not have to deal with. They reach out and say, how are you doing? How's it going? And that can make a difference between a person feeling terrible and a person feeling like they're part of a great thing. So to me, kindness is a success strategy. The Ethan Miller Song Kindness Scholarship is a $1,500 college scholarship, and we have two winners to announce today. Our first winner, Kira Stankowicz, and our second winner, Evan Chapman. Congratulations, you two. You've done something really amazing with your high school experience to win this scholarship. And I know you're gonna do amazing things down the road. But of course, we saw so many names of children who grew up with Ethan, who supported our song strong mission to help others, who showed our family incredible kindness at such a dark time. Well, we had to do something a little bit more. So we created seven more $400 scholarships for the following people. Congratulations to Lauren Skoglin, Laura Kelleher, Evan Goriev, Haley Jackson, Sabrina Doria, and Caleb Harris. And one more young man who I met when he was months old. I have watched him grow through the years into a kind, funny, and sincere person. He was one of the people Ethan spoke a lot about. Ethan would sit at the island in my kitchen while I was making dinner, telling me about the adventures of his very special friend, Joey Kahn. So to you, Joey, thank you for putting a smile on Ethan's face every day and for showing all of us what a kind world looks like. So thanks, everybody. Congratulations. We, we love, love you, you, Ethan. Good night. Good night. Bye. You still here? <laughs> <laughs>